Hello and welcome to Business Television India. You're watching FNO Spotlight with me, Piyush Jain. At present, markets are trying to struggle the direction uh, with respect to direction, I should say. Nifty almost 11,780. Bulls should be happy with this because uh, despite the entire volatility, that straight line is telling you Nifty is holding out here. Bank Nifty has cooled off and since then has not been able to again scale back, but still it's trading above 30,580. And that again uh, should be favorable again to the bulls here. The question is now what should be a strategy from here, what you should be doing again uh, with the, some stocks also, markets also and uh, for all of that now let me welcome uh, our guest Sharad Mishra, partner at Sharad Mishra and Associates. Sharad, uh, welcome to the show and uh, first question, uh, Nifty, Ban Nifty, what's the word, what's the strategy? Good morning Piyush. Uh, yesterday, Nifty, we saw uh, Nifty and Bank Nifty both we saw a decent uh, doji candle. It was a good tussle between bulls and bears during the day and we could see that uh, Nifty was trying to sustain 11,700 level also and in bank Nifty some uh, 30,350 odd level was, they were, uh, was trying to sustain. If you look at Nifty right now it has consolidated, it is actually consolidating and uh, at the at the lower price and I think that uh, if, if you look at the current option chain also a lot of put writing is happening at different strikes from 11600 to 11800 so support is kind of building up in nifty uh, if somebody wants to trade then uh, he can trade with uh, stop loss of 11650 for a target of 11880 11930 is a very strong resistance for nifty uh, for tomorrow's expiry we are still seeing that there's some build up in uh, put options which is happening so nifty is gaining some kind of support support so but uh, tomorrow and today and tomorrow it might be some volatility during the day but i think that that stop loss of uh, 11650 will be maintained for uh, nifty if you look at uh, bank nifty then uh, yesterday bank nifty was was bit stronger than nifty and uh, we had seen that a good build up was happening around 3385 or so so but now right now if you look at option chain for bank nifty the picture is not that good we are seeing that uh, some kind of uh, call writing is happening at 3800, 3900, 31000 or so. So a good uh, resistance is building up in uh, Bank Nifty. But still, if somebody wants to trade, 3250 is a very strong support for Bank Nifty. And uh, 31000 is the level which one should aim at. If 31000 31, is the first target, and if 31,000 is taken out in Bank Nifty and 11,880 is taken out in Bank Nifty, then again a resistance is 11,930. If 11,930 is taken out in Nifty and 31,000 taken out in Bank Nifty, then then this downtrend will retrace and we'll see that the uptrend will resume. Okay, so that's uh, those are the levels again which are important and need to be uh, worked around. Couple of uh, stock picks, uh, Sharad, let's talk about stock picks and uh, let's start with uh, your first call. Uh, the first call is in the Lance Industries, uh, Elevate and Nifty. Actually, it has taken good support from uh, level of some uh, 12, uh, from level of some 1272 or so. And we have seen that good call writing had, uh, call writing had happened at 1320 level or so. Few days back, I had given a sell call in in, uh, in uh, Reliance, and the target was almost achieved. Uh, it has made a good base at somewhere around 1272 to 1280 or so. It has given a breakout above that range. So I think that one can buy into Reliance Industries. The stop loss uh, will be uh, somewhere around 1270, and one can aim for a target of uh, 1350. And the second call is again uh, heavyweight uh, in. Uh, Bank Nifty, which is SDFC Bank, it is again consolidating. The stock was consolidating, and at around 2400 or so, and now it has given a breakout of that particular range. <clears throat> again, good resistance at 20, 2435 or so, but I think that this resistance will be taken out. If somebody wants to make a long, then he can long with a target of with a resistance uh, with a stop loss of 2400 uh, also, and one can see a target of 2450 in few days. Okay, two important calls, two heavyweight calls there, Reliance Industries, HDFC Bank, both uh, uh, a word. Uh, let's bring HDFC Bank a chart for our viewers and that will tell you again, over the last almost uh, three months, the stock has been relatively outperforming uh, the bank Nifty Index itself. That's today, almost 1% uptake, volumes are looking solid here and that's the last three months, almost 7% gains. 
but that graph is not about 7 percent gains. What that graph is more important is uh, that is telling you relatively very high stability versus the other banking stocks here. But the only exception could be Access Bank again, which has been re really again performing well over the last again couple of weeks here. So those are a couple of stocks. Uh, uh, one word, uh, as I'm telling with Bank Nifty, your view with HDFC Bank, uh, Sharad, do, do you see a sort of a stronger weekly expiry? Because uh, today's Wednesday, tomorrow's weekly expiry. Uh, do you foresee a sort of a strong recovery from the current levels? I think that uh, for Nifty, the expiry must be between 11,750 to 11,850 somewhere. And for Bank Nifty, the expiry must be between 3,500 to 31,000. Right, and I think bulls uh, will be really happy again with your answer, primarily because uh, what is now actually clearly visible that uh, Bank Nifty also again is scaling up almost 600 levels again is again getting crossed here. But uh, having said that, uh, let's also uh, take your view on a couple of uh, more stocks which again can, could contribute to Bank Nifty, Kotak Bank or Axis Bank. Uh, perhaps uh, is, is there any other stock apart from HFC Bank, Sharad, where you are spotting some strength? Because Bank Nifty again, for the Bank Nifty to really move up, you need more participation. So, if there are any other stocks which you spotted again, uh, which uh, is still looking good as a part of Bank Nifty. See, Axis Bank, uh, I had given a sell call a few days back, the target was met, and now Axis Bank is taking the support from uh, uh, 780 to 790 odd levels. It is at a very good support, and I, I, I think that uh, this will move up. So, we can see an upside up to uh, 800 or uh, in access bank uh, if bank entity has to go up right so that's another stock indeed again uh, some interesting moves actually are coming up uh, today but uh, uh, let's also take a look at the indices where we are seeing some strong outperformance and as expected uh, we actually are at present seeing nifty metal almost 1.3 percent up there is also positivity happening for nifty reality nifty finance all indices almost up one percent but the star again as uh, below the current here, the star again are consumer durable companies. Blue star is 5% up and we are seeing strong gains. Symphony is 4% up. We are talking about earlier during the morning show again that how durable companies are actually uh, seeing very strong June quarter sales outlook and these stocks actually are really uh, tearing through the roof uh, right now at present. Uh, the volumes perhaps uh, that is something again which is uh, normally low again couple of stocks but is looking good again as the trend uh, which is emerging out right now. Uh, a, a quick word, uh, Sharad, if uh, there is anything you like in the durable space, I just took names of Symphony or Blue Star, but uh, anything, if you like uh, anything in the consumption space. See, consumption, I have already shared that uh, it, the traction is going to be maintained in consumption. And uh, if you will uh, look at, since uh, as of now, I am not, I'm not following the two stocks which you have given me. So, I will have to go through the uh, chart once even just wait for a minute you can just uh, take your charts uh, and meanwhile uh, let me show the charts to our viewers uh, blue star that's today's chart and let's draw one month chart here and uh, let's uh, let's show again our viewers what has happened here these stocks have corrected again recently primarily and then now that's that's the curve is telling you that confidence from on the ground commentary where again lot of tvs have been sold lot of acs have been sold lot of uh, washing machines, refrigerators that pick up this time in summer season has been relatively very good compared to the last year. This is not going to be a dull summer again for uh, for this sector and that's why I think we are seeing that sort of pickup recovery in these stocks. Uh, Sharath, coming back to you, uh, that recovery is telling us the fundamental sales growth has come but are the charts really telling that some levels have, have been taken out? Is it looking positive? See, Symphony is looking good. It has a good support at 11.95. Uh, so, if somebody wants to make a long, he can create a long with a stop loss of 11.95 and I think that in few days you will see 12.85 reaching out and we might see an upside up to 14.14. And obviously, summers are uh, there, so uh, symphony fundamentally also will be uh, good. So, this move I think that can go up to 14.14. Right, and that's the word at present. So, if uh, the numbers actually are going to be as good again and if uh, the margins also hold out, then perhaps June quarter results is something which the markets are really looking with some hope here. And that's why the stocks are making some good recovery. So, while we are talking about uh, the markets, uh, they are almost at the same levels, uh, moving sideways. Uh, but as Sharad has said, HJC Bank and Reliance Industry, the two stocks where Sharad is uh, bullish right now and is really liking uh, uh, those two stocks. Uh, uh, Sharad, a word, and let me come back uh, on Nifty here. Uh, 
we talked about it, we saw a good sort of call writing at 11,800 uh, and uh, as you are saying again, it is looking positive right now. Uh, are you seeing possibility of this call writing area now shifting from 11,800 towards the 12,000 as we head towards the June monthly expiry? Yes, you are uh, right. If you look at the monthly expiry for Nifty, then obviously good, good uh, 11,700 getting a very good support and uh, a lot of uh, call unwinding is happening at uh, different different strike prices above that also and I can see that 11,700 to 11,800 is building up as very good support. A lot of put writing is happening at 11,700 and 800. And after yesterday's action which was a perfect doji, uh, 11,700 has become a very strong support. So if uh, I reiterate it, reiterate the same that 11,650 11, to 700 will remain a support for June expiry till 11,650 is not taken out. Uh, Bulls need not worry. Right, and uh, one last question to you, Sharad, and that is on the metals. Uh, please see JSPL chart, and as we show that uh, to our viewers, uh, let's bring General Steel JSPL chart on the screen. Now, why we are bringing this again? The chart today is telling you it's cooling off from, off from days high. The only impact we showed you again earlier uh, during the morning show that President Trump tweet had created a risk on sentiment in the global markets. LME base metals they shot up two percent. In the Asian trade, that sort of positivity was not seen. The way again, LME base metals were being shown. But we saw that sort of uh, positive trade and it reversed the last two days of selling. The question now is, was it all sentiments and perhaps we could see return of selling or the charts actually are telling us that perhaps now in metals you should not short. That important question, let's find that answer. Uh, Sharad, uh, what are uh, charts telling you about JSPL and we can draw that corollary to the broader uh, steel universe. See, JSPL is, uh, is in a downtrend and it is taking a resistance. Any bounce back toward 11, uh, just open the charts, uh, any bounce back towards 1170 or so will be sold into metals. I would say that uh, every bounce back uh, they will be sold into in JSPL also. Any bounce back towards 170 level, uh, we'll see new shorts coming in. Right, so that's the word of advice. Uh, it's uh, still uh, carrying a lot of risk at present. Uh, global growth versus hope of a resolution of US-China trade war. That's the uh, sort of a tug of war which is, is continuing and is going to continue for some more time here. But Sharad, uh, it was a pleasure talking to you and having you on the show and getting uh, your calls on Nifty, Bank Nifty, Reliance Industries and HDFC Bank. Uh, it's time for taking a short break, but stay tuned as after the break, we'll continue with more trading strategies with Ayatollah Agrawal, the Head of Technical Research at Way2Well Securities. <laughs>